Hello and welcome back to our ES6 introduction on free code camp. This is write concise object literal declarations using object property shorthand. ES6 adds some nice support for easily defining object literals. Consider the following code. We have this const get mouse position which is this function here which we're able to put in an x and y argument and that gets uh, passed into this function here and it is creating this object which has the key of x and y with the values of whatever was passed into x and y so get mouse position is simply or is a simple function that returns an object containing two properties ES6 provides the syntactic sugar to eliminate the redundancy of having to write xx. You can simply write x once and it will be converted to xx or something equivalent under the hood. Here is the same function from above or rewritten to use this new syntax. So here we have our get mouse position function, which takes an x and a y, and it returns this object here and it's basically doing the same thing that this is doing here it's creating an object um, it's creating an object uh, with the x and y and uh, the value of whatever is passed into x and y uh, passed in there so use object property shorthand with object literals to create and return an object with name age and gender properties we zoom out we have here const create person it takes a name age and gender it then returns this object here or well we have here return name age and gender so we're actually returning this object here what we can do what we just learned to avoid being redundant so this is basically doing the same thing here when we create person with zodiac hasbro passed in as the first argument which is name then second one is age and then last is gender um, it basically creates that object with name age gender and uh, and we have the name age and gender so let's see this should be right and we did a pass so the important thing that we learned here is basically just shorthanding our object literal which in the past we would have created something like this here and to avoid writing out this extra uh, unnecessary x and y we can just get rid of it and it will create it for us anyways the same way as long as you're understanding that you're understanding this lesson and i'll see you in the next one